Brace yourself, the skin is about to crawl. Insects, I think, terrify a lot of people out there, understandably, but they are, in fact, very mild-mannered and awesome. And there is such a diverse mix here in South Africa. I've heard over 10,000 species of insects in South Africa alone. Well, the task of identifying them just got a whole lot easier with a brilliant, new, very easy-to-use pocket guide to the insects of South Africa. And with us in studio to tell us all about it and introduce some little friends is co-author of the book, Mike Picker, who is sitting dead still. Mike, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Zoe is also sitting dead still, which I'm guessing has something to do with what is on your hand. Well, um, <laughs> this is just something I brought in to um, show readers Ooh. that insects are amazing. They are not to be feared. They're, exactly. they're so diverse that there are a few. Of course, they do pose problems to human health and um, cockroaches scare most people. But Considering there are about 50,000 species in South Africa. 50,000, so 10 was a, a fairly um, <laughs> it's, it's an conservative estimate. estimate. Um, wow. In fact, it's only about 10,000 which are known to science. So there's lots of exciting things still to be discovered and very few, a small fraction are to be feared because they transmit disease and you've probably um, heard about the very rapid spread of Zika virus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, the mosquito that is responsible does occur in South Africa. In fact, well, the related species. Sure. And it also transmits other diseases of medical importance further north in Africa, yellow fever, dengue fever. But um, we do have those mosquitoes around. So mos insects can be harmful, but by far the majority are beneficial. Heroes yeah. of our yeah. ecosystem. But I think yeah. the big question is, how does the book help you to identify which ones to run away from or which ones you can embrace <laughs> as a friend? <laughs> I guess it's a, a matter of getting to know them. The, the book is um, published in a pocket format, so it's the type of thing you could take out on a walk to the field or in mm. the garden. And even though it's a very slim book, it does cover about 500 species, which is a lot. And we've chosen the commonest species, the ones which are most interesting. So just by taking the book out into the garden or even in the house um, and paging through it, you'd be able to identify most of the common insects. Now, the easiest way to start, if you... Should I hold the frame? <laughs> I was going to say... And you can open the book. By okay. not having a stick um, insect walking on your hand, yeah. So what we've done is uh, the easiest way to get to know the insects is to learn the basic groups, which we call the orders. So cockroaches are one order, flies are another order, grasshoppers the third order, and there are 30 of them. And we've given a typical picture of the uh, representative of the order on the front and the back cover. And using this, you can identify whether you've got a beetle or a fly. And let us say, for example, you've decided you found a beetle. You then page to the beetle chapter. And so it's, it's simply a matter of going through it. Now, because there's so much diversity, we've tried to stop at a useful level, which is the family level. Yeah. So, for example, dung beetles are one family, and they tend all to have the same ecology and behavior. So once you recognise the family, it really You've got helps. You've an idea. And I suppose otherwise you could keep going on forever. There are so <laughs> many species out there. What, what stands out for you in your studies? You've devoted your life to the study of insects. Who is the hero insect out there? What is your favourite species? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's not really a difficult question because, because uh, I guess getting to know them, they all become fascinating. I don't have any particular favourites. In fact, every group that I've studied becomes more fascinating as you learn more about them. They're so very different and they do things which are very different to other animal groups. They are quite spectacular and we are in fact living in the time or era of insects. So the commonest and most, oh. uh, most abundant and there are more species of insect than anything else on the planet. It looks like your little stick figure is like raising his hands. He to is. I feel like he's living point. life and I stuck to my, my finger. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Mm, so Sorry. I think um, for most of us out there, what message would you leave to, um, for those of us who want to explore insects, want to explore our ecosystem, um, why is it so valuable that we protect these species and learn more about them? Yeah, humans generally come across only a fraction of insects and generally the ones which are associated with houses. But if you go out for a walk in the garden or further afield into the bush and you take a hand lens with you, you really start discovering another side of the planet. Another and world. it's just a different scale. So, that, that of course, they're medically important insects, but far, by far the majority are beneficial. There's pollinators without insects, 
most of the flowering plants would disappear and most of our food would actually disappear. Yeah, sure. And of course, because of their abundance, and this is a, these are beneficial insects over here, they, um, they tend to support food chains and other animals are dependent on them. So if theoretically insects disappeared overnight, so would, we. So would yeah. birds, and ultimately in a week or two humans would start suffering. So oh, we Mike. are not allowed to squish them. Well, Mike, thank you so much for joining us this morning and bringing some of your interesting friends along. I definitely learned a lot. Definitely won't squish and any of the alien you, looking man. ones. You've made yourself the best mate there. Well, for a fascinating insight into the rich, complex lives of the insects who live alongside us, and there are many, check out the Pocket Guide to Insects of South Africa, available now. It looks like an absolute Jim. Now, are we looking at the day ahead? If you haven't prepared your lunchbox as yet, um, well, you better get moving. But before you go and pack today's lunch, Moira gives us a little bit of inspiration. This one is also a real gem.